Hi guys, I'm Kesha. Welcome to the channel, to my wonderland. It is Gopi time and today we're here to discuss five movies that I thought were really good in 2018. So these are movies that were released in 2018 and I could have made a top 10 but I decided to keep it just to five and choose some movies that I thought that were from, from one reason or another were a little bit more special to me than other ones that were released in 2018. I know, I know there are many good movies that were released in 2018 to be honest. I was really pleased with a lot of movies that were released this year but I decided to keep it short and make just a top five. So these are the five that I have chosen. First we have Hereditary. So I chose this one because I thought it was different and it deserved to be recognized and if you have not checked it out yet make sure to check it out. So we're following the story of a family and sadly the grandmother who was mentally ill passes away and so we follow the rest of the family, you know her daughter Annie, her husband and her son and daughter and we get to see how each of them starts to uh, go through the laws and how they deal with grief and Annie and her daughter they start to flirt with the supernatural and so they start to have a uh, disturbing kind of out of this world experiences and I don't want to say too much more because I don't want to uh, destroy this movie for everybody that has not watched it yet but it is a really nerve-wracking really cool movie and Colette's performance in this movie is magnetic it is fantastic and if you have not watched it yet you might want to check it out then I want to talk to you about another kind of horror movie that was very commented on this year and that is A Quiet Place I don't think anybody expected to get this movie from that guy from the office and he's wife Emily Blonde they decided to make this movie at the beginning I was curious to see the movie to see what they did especially because the trailer was without sound and I was not let down by the movie I thought it was fantastic and it is an apocalyptic movie I love apocalyptic stuff doesn't matter if it's book movies graphic novels video games I just love things that have to do with the end of the world or the apocalypse or things like that so we live in a devastated earth post-apocalyptic scenario and we have some kind of alien-like creatures that have a very very good hearing so the what they have to do to survive is basically not make any sound at all that is why the movie is called A Quiet Place and one of the things that makes this movie very special because you know with when it comes to horror or post-apocalyptic movies we never get anything like this it's all about the action the creatures and this and that and the horror and the gore and this movie it's totally different but that's what makes it so special then i want to mention a movie that most people might not like this most people might not understand why i chose this one for the best movies of 2018 but that is mandy and i think it deserves to have a spot on this list because it was really really different and special and I really enjoyed it like I felt it was an experience <laughs> from the music to the scenario to the little cuts on the story because it came like in chapters and the color scheme everything just it was just so thought to the detail that it was so so well done and executed and the plot is actually pretty cool many people might think this movie is too weird or boring or anything like that but for me i really enjoyed it i did not feel like it was too slow i did not feel like it was too boring i just thought it was perfect and the last around 20 minutes of the movie were just fantastic that that made me so happy we are living in 1983, which is also the year I was born. Coincidence? I think not. And we follow the story of Red, who is a lumberjack, and he lives in a cabin in the middle of the woods with his girlfriend Mandy, and she loves to read fantasy novels. And I could totally relate with all of these things. Um, and they come across some really weird people and things start to get really really weird um, but I absolutely loved it and I thought it was raw it was brave and the uh, more kind of horror scenes were just fantastic then I would like to mention a movie that I'm pretty sure broke many people's hearts including myself and that is Avengers Infinity War these 
from the Avengers movies has been the one that I have enjoyed the most so that is why it's in this list and I just loved all the characters part into this movie I love the match with Guardians of the Galaxy and Thanos and I just love Drax I loved him in this movie as well and I just think it had the perfect mix between action and drama and everything and fun and it was fantastic the whole backstory with Gamora and Thanos was amazing I just loved it I enjoyed it so much and that ending man I'm still recovering from that and I've already watched the trailer from Avengers Endgame and I have not seen Loki in that trailer and I'm starting to get worried but definitely this was one of the best Marvel movies that was released this year and this is why it's on this list and the last one I want to talk to you about, and I'm pretty sure nobody's going to be surprised about this pick, it is Aquaman. So I just watched Aquaman and I loved it. Of course it has its things, there are some things that are not really believable when it comes to the laws of physics and things like that, but we're talking superheroes, so anything is possible. It's all imagination. But let's talk how hard it is to make and build this underwater world of Atlantis and how good it was done in the movie because everybody was expecting that Aquaman was somebody you were gonna make fun of uh-uh, mm -mm. nope it had the perfect mix of action the perfect mix of jokes at the perfect times and it was really cool even the characters that I didn't know if they were going to work like Nicole Kidman's character because she plays Arthur Curry's mom so Aquaman's mom but it worked so well and I love all the drama it was so well executed and Willem Dafoe's character always in my heart you're the real man and I just loved it what, what else can I say I just loved it I think the design of all the underwater creatures was fantastic it was hard I was a little bit scared of seeing those uh, flying seahorses but they were so cool and all the creatures there was an epic epic battle going on I mean man that was it was so enjoyable and like I said I had to put it here because making superhero movies like Batman and Superman I think it's a bit easier than building up Atlantis on the water so I decided to include these as my favorite DC movie from 2018 so the last two ones are my favorite Marvel and my favorite DC movies and for everybody that has not watched Aquaman yet I encourage you to go and watch it I mean don't blame me if you don't like it but I did really like it I mean I know what you're thinking that I'm only saying this because uh, Jason Momoa need I say more but no you know if the movie would suck I would say it as well even if Jason Momoa would be in it but I really really enjoyed it and I thought it was fantastic and it is a movie that is 144 minutes long and it did not get boring or dragging or anything it was it had so many action and so many different scenarios I just I just love this movie for real so these were five of my favorite movies from 2018 let me know down below what you thought about my picks and which ones were your favorite ones thanks so much for watching please subscribe to the channel for support give the video a thumbs up all my other social media is listed down below if you want to follow me in other channels as well and I hope to see you all in the next coffee time bye